So I just did a live um, and it got paused. So I'm going to do it over again. So it's only going to be like 10 to 15 minutes, but because I have to read this person, I wasn't going to go live. But this person named Mecca, she's like a, 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 a psychic, a astrologist, whatever she is, had the audacity to basically just quote, tweet somebody else's tweet saying, some guy said Kamala effed away to the top. She said, I'm just going to leave you with this. Montel Jordan, basically, she was dating Montel Jordan. It just so happened that she dated Montel Jordan. Not Montel Jordan. Montel Williams. She dated Montel Williams. That's the talk show host, Montel Williams. And the person that she's with was the daughter. The, the, the daughter was there. That's his daughter, pretty much. So she dated Montel Williams for a little bit. And his daughter was right there. Because he's like in his 60s now. Because he's about like a couple years older than... Vice President Harris. So, my friend said this. This miserable B with bad skin, dry, mm, and no, mm, want to come for Vice President Kamala Harris. At the Holy Mecca, you need to fix that <laughs> al alopecia in your mm and leave Kamala Harris the mm alone. And she said, can we talk about the misogyny in gay men yet yeah, or is it too early? How did you know that Kenny was gay? Did he tell you he was gay? No. And then he basically just read her to Phil's. And then I quote tweeted her tweet saying, uh, actually, nah. He read your ass for Phil's. You came with some dumb ish talking about vice president past relationship with a high profile person. And no, she wasn't a sister wife. That was his daughter. Therefore, you need to pump your brace before talking about misogyny. She should check her own misogyny. I mean, you're questioning, you know, the most powerful woman in this country. You're questioning who the fuck she dated. So, once again, Mecca, holy Mecca, whatever the fuck your name is. Now, I know you have about like, what? 3,000 followers, so you're trying to come for someone like Kenny with a much higher um, platform, 10 times higher than yours, more than 10 times higher than yours, and you try to increase yourself by talking shit about the vice president. You thought you wasn't going to get checked because you're supposed to be a psychic. You got checked by a Kamala Harris supporter and many other supporters that slide in your mentions because you basically lied about the vice president's past relationships who's to say that she just came into him by passing maybe he found her attractive maybe she found him attractive why is that your concern mecca because you're not getting fucked i don't know but mecca first of all I'm going to just tell you this. You need to increase your platform more and actually get some more likes on your um, on, on your, your tweets before you um, dig for anybody. Your psychic reading, no one knows who you are because you have under three, like, no, under 4,000 followers. If you're that great and that good... Why did you have to tweet about the vice president to get as many likes and retweets? Why? And calling someone like Kenny, who was actually an ally to black women more than you, Mecca, because um, you want to talk about somebody else's past relationship, is just... The pot calling the kiddo black. It is. So, Miss Psychic. I know you locked your account because you thought that you wasn't going to get dragged on Twitter. And you did. You really did. I mean, I look at your profile pic and I don't even know if that's you. Or if it's you, girl, your face look dry. You need some Olay on your skin or maybe some Clean and Clear or Neutrogena. Something. Something. 
Miss High Tepist, High Tepist, High Tetris, whatever your name is. So Mecca, this is for you. The vice president don't know who you are. Coming for her was fucked up. You need to moisturize your skin and clean your mm, hoo-ha out. Find a nice man or a nice woman because you know it's 2021. You know everybody is sexually fluent these days. Um, and stop worrying about the vice president's um, love life and her sex life. Because you're looking real sad and bad out here. Quote tweeting another white man's tweet. Who probably doesn't get no woo-ha or no pickle, if you know what I mean. So, I hope that you enjoyed that 15 minutes of Twitter fame. Because now, you have a locked account. And... Things are going to look sad and bad for you. Or, you know, you may go through some things because after you did that. So, enjoy that. And another thing for Mecca. Don't you ever come for my friend. Ever in your life. My friend. Yeah, Mr. Too Raw, Too Real. My friend is a strong ally to black women. He will defend me more than any other boyfriend I ever had. That's right. And yes, he is part of the LGBTQ community. You can't say that because you're a high tech and an FBA person probably on the low low. Doesn't matter. And he is part of that community. And you know what? He's fine as hell. He could get anybody. He can even get a woman if he wants to, but that's not his preference. Why is that your concern? I have no idea. Maybe you want to dip in that water too. Maybe you want your box licked. Who knows? But for the um, record, and just for the one time since your account is locked, don't ever come for my motherfucking friend. Don't ever. Because you don't want that smoke. Not at all. Not ever. And to all the other high taps on this bird app that is so concerned about the vice president's love life, go find some business of your own. Go get laid somewhere by a man, a woman, whoever you, you, you choose to date. And leave her the hell alone. Because why? Because the vice president is actually doing her job governing the country. We actually got real leadership. So instead of focusing her on her love life, focus on yours. Making your life better. So I'm saying. Now, before I leave... I just want to enjoy this, this laughter. So y'all all know that Crystal Ball and her um, co-host, you know, they both loved, I mean, lost their job, basically. They, they basically got laid off, right? Boom. You know, all the people was like giving them thumbs up of, you know, go independent. Yeah, yeah, go independent. So here's the thing. That show was full of shit. That show was nothing but Russian talking points. Um, her co-host looked like um, he never got laid in his life. He looked like a super nerd. Crystal Ball is just a has-been in, 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 in some sort. And um, there was no actual like content. There was no actual like um, meaning behind their show. They were only there for a season. And guess what? It was only there for like one year. One. But this is how like people like Crystal Ball, who got rich talking shit about the Democratic Party, is now have to go independent and using her funds to launch her program, her independent program. Let's see how that does. Because I'm assuming it's not going to do as well. She's going to be probably on our regular TVs on CNN or MSNBC giving her weak ass commentary as always because it, it doesn't make no sense. It doesn't. Like Brie Brie, she will be gone. Give it three to six months. She'll be gone. No one ever have to hear from them ever again. They will have to grip just to keep, you know, a mortgage up or keep their rent up. Now, Crystal don't have to apply for affordable housing like Bri Bri, even though Bri Bri lives in D.C. But um, 
Crystal got three mouths to feed. So I hope, you know, you stretch that severance out, that, that, that severance, you know, to feed your kids and make sure they have their laptops, make sure they have their food. You know, I don't know if you have a husband, I don't know if he's working, you know, you got to take care of your family because you got other lives that you have to take care of. It sucks, you know, getting your show canceled after one year and some change on just lying on television as always. Kissing up to white supremacy, as always. So, to Crystal, tough break, sis. I shouldn't even say tough break, sis. Tough break, girl. Because, um, it's going to be a rocky road. But, that's just it. And that's all I have to say. I see Kenny told the truth and it hurt. Yeah, it told the truth that it hurt. And no one cares that she dated in the past. No one cares because guess what? She got a she got a dime piece. Or I should say she got a print. She, she got a king. A vanilla king. And his name is Doug. And he's the second gentleman. And cool. Very cool. But until then, y'all, y'all have a good night.